Yo, my name is Benjamin and in this video let's talk about what's new in the March update. This release brings variable support to all styles in components. As you can see, any of these properties can now be turned into a variable, even ones like transition. So I'll select my image here and let's turn border into a variable so we can edit it later in context. Here we can edit the default values. The default color I have set to a white color with a 5% alpha. And let's also add a variable for radius. And I'll keep the default value at 24 pixels. Variables allow us to create much more flexible components with a set of good default values that can still be customized later in either breakpoints or different pages. For example, here we can see that this image might need a bit of a stronger border. So we can go ahead and set the alpha to 10 instead. Then looking at our breakpoints, we can see that the radius is much too high on the phone breakpoint. So we can go ahead and customize it just for this breakpoint to something like 16 pixels. And all of this without affecting every single instance. Next to the visual styles like borders and shadows, we made sure to support all properties you may need for your navigations, like overflow, scroll bars and transition, allowing you to create more flexible and more customizable navigations and footers. That's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and for everything else that's new, be sure to check framer.com updates.